On this episode of Beyond the Marquee, we're hanging out with some of the galaxy's finest at Star Wars Fan Day. Hi, it's me, Linda Lee, and today I'm at Star Wars Fan Day here in downtown Los Angeles. With Star Wars The Force Awakens out on home video this week, what better place than here to celebrate? Sean Kenobi. So, Sean, tell us what's happening today. Well, we're at the Fashion Institute of Design and Merchandising, and we're at the 24th Annual Art of Academy Awards costume exhibit. And they have all sorts of amazing costumes from movies that came out in the past year on display. And so the biggest one that they have is probably costumes from The Force Awakens, the new Star Wars movie. And so we're here dressed as Star Wars characters in support of that. We're here to have a big festive Star Wars kids and fan day where we have crafts in the corner where you can build Star Wars Mr. Potato Heads and we have coloring pages. We just did lightsaber training class, which you did very well in, by the way. We have stormtroopers here. We have X-Wing pilots. Han Solo is here, R2-D2 and Captain Phasma. And we just have a terrific time. Okay, so I'm here with a bunch of Star Wars fans. So, guys, what do you think about the event? It was very mind-blowing because you don't get to see like the props that they used in the movies, so it was really fun to see. Let me hear you do your best Chewbacca growl. <laughs> Can you do your best Yoda impression? Well, let's see. Visit the Death Star, you will. How's that? Good. Your partner's Chewbacca. Can you do a Chewbacca impression? Chewy? <laughs> What do you guys think of some of these characters walking around? Well, I think they're pretty funny, I guess. We, we, we saw the sand guy. Yeah, he was pretty funny. He liked dancing a lot. Most of the characters, some of them freaked me out, some of them didn't. I like the R2-D2. I'm here with obi Sean Kenobi, and he built this Z-Wing. So tell me how you made it. Well, this whole car started as a Nissan 350Z. And then I took all sorts of cool parts that I found from all different places and I brought them into my car and I made a Star Wars spaceship out of a sports car. Because I like Star Wars so much, I thought it would be so much fun to do. And it's kind of like a big Lego project. I get all my cool parts together in one spot and I make something really neat out of it. And that's really fun. I'm here with Judy from the Fitta Museum. So tell us about this museum. We have our 24th annual Art of Motion Picture Costume Design Exhibition, and part of it are the Star Wars costumes from The Force Awakens. These are the actual costumes that were used in the film, production costumes. And this exhibition is going to run through April 30th. We're open Tuesday through Saturday, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> May the Force be with you. Well, that does it for this episode. Be sure to pick up your copy of Star Wars The Force Awakens now on Blu-ray and DVD. For Beyond the Marquee, I'm Linda Lee. May the Force be with you. Why was BB-8 afraid of Seven? Oh, I don't know. Why? Because Seven BB-8 nine dog. No! The Seven is Studio Winifrey from Dachshund.